I'm doing honey juice for my wife. <laughs> Let me show them this gadget you've got. So what is it? It's called a wall bot. Where is it at? Oh, you, there it is. And it's linked to your phone? Yes. Wallabot. Okay, you can connect to you. And you have to circle it on the wall. Is that right? Yes, we got to do a calibration first. Calibrated image. Should be a stud right there. Yep. That's showing me the stud right there, and I'm dead center. Okay. So. Well, I'm good there. Down here, do this one. We had these marked from before, but we just wanted to make sure. And you can see it's on his phone. All right, we'll get, we'll get that on. So, here it is, guys. We are doing our pantry in here. I was considering not doing it in here. I wanted to do closed cabinets in here, and I'm loving the open shelving because that's what we had at our old house. I'll insert a clip here, a picture of our old uh, pantry, Butler's pantry, and I missed it so much that I wanted to do it here as well. So the way we designed these shelves, we wanted it where it would butt up against the edge of my huge scale here. So I wanted to use this as one of the areas that I decorate with. So my thought was, this is one of my grandmother's bowls, and I'm just going to do that here with some old bowling pins. old ice cream scoop, maybe another one back here. So it's all about playing and making sure it's going to work. And if it doesn't work, you can just always take it back. It's not a big deal. This little area is pretty much set up like I had it in the old house. And I showed y'all a clip of that um, butler's pantry that we had. I've got all my scales in here. I'm trying to use everything that's, you know, very rustic and utilitarian as far as kitchen wise in here. I do have some jars. I have some old, um, let's see, those are Lance or Tom's jars, but I don't want to use them in this area because I'm so afraid grandbabies getting crackers and cookies that those may get broken. So I just leave the antique ones put up and I've got two of my Walmart um, canisters here. They look just like the vintage ones and I'm happy with this. Now underneath this bread box, I'm actually hiding the plug that we added here. I can easily move the bread box and, and I have another plug on this side. So in this corner, I did a little more of the yellowware. Now this piece I bought from Rusty Ridge Vintage. Uh, the scales I bought from Rusty Ridge Vintage. And I picked up some enamel wear over the years and I just wanted to add that with some old crates and I've mixed in, you can see an old grater. So a cheese grater. This is actually a speckle wear. I have some of that throughout. And when I back up and show you all of this, you'll see. And I just did my twine that I tie prime rib with. So this is very um, usable space. 
I do think that I am going to have to do a poly on this wood. I did um, kind of a uh, wax finish on it to um, give it this darkness and try to keep it without putting a poly, but it's it's just getting stained up so bad. So I am going to polyurethane on the tops of these cab countertops. They're beautiful. Let me show you one other area. This area over here, I was able to keep my scale. I did move it over. It was kind of on this back wall behind us. So I moved it over and I added some, um, some little rolling pins in there with some greenery and I left my two uh, quilt beaters up there. That's what how they used to clean the quilts. So I'm going to back the camera up and let you see this whole area really well. Bear's a little clingy tonight so mama's going to hold him and I'm going to back y'all up and just kind of talk about all the things behind me. So I don't know if you can see it that far away. I love this area. I do have a refrigerator, a small refrigerator. I have one directly behind the um, camera now. And then I'm gonna take y'all on the other side and let y'all see the other side as well. So I did a eight inch deep shelf on the bottom and then the top two are 12 inch deep. You can see that I am kind of still filling in up top. I've got a meat grinder here. I have an old drawer that I put new chips in, and then down here are chips that we've already opened. Um, but I thought the eight inch deep shelf would be perfect for canned goods because you can see all the way to the back of the shelf. Um, this way it allows me to know how many more of each thing that I do have. So I am loving this area. You know, I, I really hated to lose my decor space over here, but I am loving the fact that I was bringing everything that was sitting around on my cabinets, uh, everything that was, I had two little air, little cabinets that I was trying to put canned goods and this uh, food in, and it was just not working for me coming from what I had to this. So this I am absolutely loving. I will grow into it and we will evolve with it, but I'm loving this area tremendously. Now I'm going to turn you around and let you see the opposite side. So over in this area, I have my display of um, jade eye. Now some of it is not real jade eye. Some of it is. I do have my little hens in their nests and then some collecting things that I have collected over the years. Here's where I put my Tom jars because I didn't want them over on the um, uh, butler pantry area because I did not want the grandbabies to break them or me or anyone else. Got my beautiful picture from my sweet friend up top and I just kind of went down with some of my yellowware and added in all of my jade dot, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I moved my microwave from the kitchen in here. Love that in here. I've got all my popcorn station up here, and I'll give y'all a closer look in just a moment. So um, I just left this. This is, uh, I added my oatmeal over here so I can make oatmeal in the morning, and then my coffee station. And then up top here, I have all my coffee cups. Now you will see that I do store some Christmas up top. And this one, I'll just show it to you. This one over here is completely storage, but I do have all of my Santa mugs up here. And so I love closed cabinetry for storage and to hide things. But then again, um, I love to have things out and displayed for all to see. Let's take a good look around the room. I'll show you my great aunt's area um, over here that I did her buffet table. I have a floating table in the center that I use for folding my clothes. But this is a really, this room is really coming together. You can see the new windows when I pan you around. But I'm loving how we did the shelves and I'm so glad that we did this. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you will subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm sorry that Bear's been in the video the entire time, but he, bless his heart, he's just had a rough day today. 